Hi, this is Melissa with Wilhoy Training. Thanks for joining me to take a look at update member information and generate verification letters in OneSite. Now I'll show you how to generate verification letters needed to do a full recertification in OneSite. First, let's talk about the procedure. This is a page from our training manual. The resident will have to fill out a new application, resident release form, and any affidavits that are indicated by the information on the application. With recertifications, you do not rerun the screening or rental history. But just like a new move-in, managers are not permitted to write on the application except at the top of the first page and in the signature area of the application. Make sure the application is filled out completely and the manager has signed the last page. Make sure all affidavits are signed and completed. If notarization is required, make sure that's been done. In one site, we'll need to generate verification forms for updates to member and financial information. Find the resident. Click View. When I'm preparing to do a recertification, the first thing I do is look at the last certification or the initial certification. To do that, I'll go to my Certifications tab. All of the past certifications are housed here. I can look at the last one and click View to open it up. I like to look at the household information, the income information, and the asset information. All of these things will help me to be sure we're not missing any items that may need to be addressed. Okay, after I have reviewed the most recent certification, I will then go to my Summary tab. Under the Summary tab is a sub-tab called Contacts, which houses the member information. In this example, our resident provided a cell phone number. So to add this information in, I will click Edit next to her name, entering the cell phone information, and click Save on the bottom right. Now move on to Updating Financial Information. Click on the Financial tab. On the application, this resident stated that they are receiving Social Security. So there is no change with the source of income. However, the amount is a little bit different. So I will click Edit. enter today's date, and update the annual amount. And select Save. In this example, I already have my third-party verification, so I'll select Verified by Third-Party Verification and Save. Once you've updated this information, notice under the asterisk column, there's a check mark indicating that this income has a record with future dates. This resident also wrote on their application that they are receiving a new source of income. So to add the new source, I will select the new button. I will use today's date. Enter in the amount she wrote on her application and select Save. In this case, I will need to create a verification letter. So I can use the drop down to find the correct recipient or create a new recipient by clicking on the blue button, New Recipient.
once I've added the new recipient, it will be at the very bottom of the recipient list. Now I can select Save to create this verification letter. And notice that the pension has been added. Next, I'll update from the Assets tab. The asset is a checking account from Bank of America. The asset also needs to be updated. I will enter a new start date in, a new value, and save. I already have the third party verification, so I will change the verified by from letter to third party verification and select save. Once you have updated the member and financial items, you can locate any verification letters to view and print from the letters and notices tab. The one created for this recertification was for the pension. We'll click check status under the actions column and then print. Now we have our pre-populated verification letter to send for this income verification. There's a statement that reads, I hereby authorize the release of information requested below asking for the applicant's signature and date along with your signature. You can have the resident sign and date or you might just note see attached release on the signature line and then include the signature page from the application. Well, that's it for generate verification letters for member and financial information. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to update financial items. Thanks for listening.